All right, so we're gonna be installing Pi Hosted on our Procmax server so we can block some ads. So let's get started. So Pi Hole is a really good service to help you block ads or help you block certain access to websites that you don't wanna see. How it works, it basically replaces your DNS or your domain name server. So instead of having to remember IPs for like websites, it basically translates it to like Google or something. So we don't actually have to remember the number. That's how the domain name services work. Now in Pi Hole, what it does is basically has a list of DNS or websites or URLs that it should be known to block. So basically, if you're going to a website, say reddit.com, it's gonna check against the list on Pi Hole, and if it's good, it's actually gonna give it a check and let it go through. Now, say you're in Reddit, and you're going through some of the sites, and it actually goes to a DNS called ad.reddit.com. Now, it knows that since this is an ad website, uh, Pi Hole actually has a list for this, and it'll actually decline you from accessing this URL, which means it'll stop you from downloading any, any ads. Now this Pi Hole primarily runs off a list system. So if it's not in the list, it's not gonna be blocked. So what we're gonna be doing today is basically install this service into our prox box. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to point the computer over to the Pi Hole. So let's begin. All right, so you guys have probably seen this before. This is my prox box. This is actually the new one that I'm using, which has the 14 core uh, Pentium i9, the mini forms MS01. And in here, I already got a Windows 11 set up just for testing purposes. But what we're gonna do is actually install Pi Hole. Now, I did make a video about this, which is the Proxmox helper script, and I'll leave a link down in the description below for this, which is my secret sauce video. And in here, what I'm gonna do is go over to Ad Blocker and head over to Pi Hole. Now, this is gonna give me a quick command right over here that I could use to install on my virtual environment. So I'm gonna go over to PVE, head over to Shell, and basically just paste that command that I just copied. And it's gonna create something called Pi Hole on a LXC or a container. I'm gonna use default settings and I'm just gonna let this go. It's gonna be quick. That's weird, it should have internet detected. Maybe it was too quick. Uh, I'm gonna hit yes on this and see what happens. Would you like to add unbound? No, I'm not gonna install the Pi Hosted unbound. And there you go, the IP is 209 and it's admin. Now I do wanna change the 209 to something I will always remember. So we're gonna to have to configure that ourselves. Now I'm gonna hop over to Pi Hole go into console and I'm gonna check out IP-A209, double check that that's gonna work. So 192.168.105.209 slash admin. And there we have it, our Pi hole. Before we're able to log in, we actually have to set up a password. So we're gonna to have to go back over here and it says Pi hole-a-p, this is what we need to do. So we're gonna head back into our virtual environment, Pi hole-a-p. And it's gonna ask you for password. I'm gonna set no password just so it's easier. You should usually set up a password so you don't configure this or let somebody else configure it. But yes, I am gonna set no password for this. And now if I head back into that website, it's gonna bring me right into the Pi-hole interface. Now you can see that there has 183,512 audits, which is in their ad list. Uh, we also have total queries because we have nothing attached to this, but we are gonna change the IP address just so it makes it a little bit easier. In our case, what we need to do is just head over to network. And what you have to do here is go into DHCP, head edit, go into static and change the IP address from here. So you don't have to do anything in the configuration files, just have to change it over here. So we're gonna change this to dot three because I have something on dot two already. I'm gonna do slash 24, hit okay. And then we are gonna restart this service and hit yes. And after it restarts, our new IP address should be dot three. So I'm gonna go into console, IP, A, and here we go, it's dot three. So we're gonna check that again, 192.168.105.3 slash admin. And there we have it, our pie hole is now on dot three. Now that we have everything all set up, how do we utilize it? So there's a couple of things we can do is basically point our computer over to Pi Hole or point our firewall to Pi Hole. For me, I personally just like to point the specific computer to the Pi Hole because if I do it network wide, it actually breaks a lot of stuff. Uh, I have a lot of Chrome devices and if they detect that you're using Pi Hole and certain URL is being blocked, Chrome device actually stops working. Certain TVs do the same thing, so it depends. I'd rather not block the entire network and just block it by, via a specific device. So 
In my case, I have a computer here already called Windows 11 Test Machine. And this is the same test machine that is right over here, Windows 11. And this is the one that I have my 1030 GPU installed on. So if I go to Device Manager, you'll see it's, uh, I actually have my 1030 here. And in Windows, it's actually very easy. So what I'm going to show you right now is if I go into, say, any website, I think it doesn't block all ads, but say if I go to CNN, you're going to see an ad up here. All right. We're going to have ads all over the place. CNN has like a ton of ads. All right. So what I'm going to do now is head over to network, right click on the network icon, network, uh, ethernet, and I am going to go over here. Now the new one is cool. You could actually just assign the DNS instead of having to change the IP address. So I'm going to go hit edit for the automatic DHCP and change this to manual IPv4. And all it wants is the preferred DNS. So at this point, we're going to put in 192. 168.105.3, which is the IP address we had, and hit save on this. And this is gonna be system wide. From now on, anything I do on this computer will actually go through this Pi hole, which is really, really cool. Now, say I'm gonna go into Google Chrome, I'm gonna go into reddit.com, okay? And automatically, you're gonna start seeing queries build up. And it's starting to detect my machine that's on here. So I have two active clients on the dot three, which I guess itself is one client and then any computer is. So it has two clients right now. And if I was to test this with say CNN.com, you see how it's jumping up. It's still jumping up. Like I said, it doesn't block everything, but you can see like the queries jumping up, all the data is starting to flood in. You could see it's actually doing something. It blocked 39 sites out of the 92 queries that it had. And if I go into Firefox and do the same thing, cnn.com, you're gonna see this go up. Or if I go into, um, what other sites do I have? Yahoo? I uh, should start blocking more, you see that? 122, it's going up, 48. And the site's probably done loading, but you could see that this is actually doing something. And anytime I go to the website, now you could still see that there's ads. That's because we're off working off a list. And if it's not on that list, it's not gonna block that. So what the next thing we need to do is actually find a better list. If you head over to this website called github.com slash block list project list. And it actually has block list projects just for Pi host, uh, Pi hole. And what you need to do here is basically grab the list that you want. So if you don't like, if you don't want to reveal anything that's corn or privacy or ads, you could just grab it. So basically the original, I would take link, right click on here, copy link address, say I don't want any ads. Um, again, it's the list is there, but it doesn't block everything. I'm going to go over here to the ad list add that URL, give it a quick description. So I'm going to say ads and I'm going to hit add. And there we have it the ads are now added into that list itself. So now this list gotten a lot bigger from what it was before. Again, it won't block out everything. I could refresh this. I will still probably get that advertisement on top. And you can see it's still blocking 130, 52 queries blocked. And that's basically how it works. You can actually use this into more fine detail, basically add clients into this and block specific domains just for that client. So if you have kids who, and you don't want them to see specific websites, you can add their computers right into this list and block specific websites. If you want to go into more detail, there's more lists over here. Like if you don't want any gambling sites or fraud sites, you could grab these. If you don't want anybody going into Facebook, you know, grab the Facebook link, copy link address and block all this as well. So you basically could just, whoops, nope, right here. Work on this list FB and keep adding stuff into here. And there we have it. That's how we utilize Pi Hole in our own network just so we could block specific computers. And now I use this personally just for a few computers that have in the network, but not everything because I rely on ads myself. So I do watch ads most of the time, but there are some things I do need to test without ads. So I use Pi Hole for that. Now, if you have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.